Every time I question what my future has in store I get to panicking anxiety Can't live here no more No more, no more, no more, no more, no more. I'll convince myself that I don't want what I really y'all happy thursday we're these glasses don't i need to go to warby parker i have a pair of, actually two pair of blue light glasses but and they're from ruby parker which i love because they don't do see how you can barely see my eyeballs they don't have that but they're scratched really bad and so i'm either gonna have see if they can replace them or if not get um a couple of new pairs since i can use my hsa card but anyway we're back with a daily vlog. Um, what have you guys seen? I got up. So in all truth and transparency, I have been feeling off spiritually. And it's because I'm not giving myself enough time in the morning to really not even do devotional, but to just sit with God. Just read my bible and then just sit there's no music playing there's no outside forces it's just me sitting waiting to hear and i was like lord i want to get back wake me up i literally some, some of y'all be talking to god like oh how art thou and that's great but me and jc we be talking like we best friends because we are right so i was telling god last night i was like listen i am not getting up enough time in the morning to spend time with you and I need to because September and October are going to be extremely busy and I need you I am going to need you so I need you to wake me up when I tell you guys I I was up up like it wasn't one of those oh we're all over I didn't set an alarm well I did set an alarm for 6 30 I was like why am I up up what's going on like i was just i looked at the clock i clock exactly said 5 45 and i said touche thank you y'all i got up i got my devotion done i then sat with god we didn't know we had a good conversation i've had time to log in and do some work that i honestly was supposed to do yesterday i have finished my to-do list this morning because i didn't do it tonight we're just i mean it's just thank you for waking me up i'll do it again tomorrow <laughs> Sometimes you gotta let God know. God wake me up. You can pray about it, but just talk to him like you talk to your friend, but just don't curse, you know? He don't wanna hit it. Anyway, so we're up. What is on the list to do today? I am dropping <clears throat> Alexander off at daycare today because I'm going by Tar I wanna go by Target. Um, the Future Collective, whatever they wanna call it, the new version has come out. And I really only want to look at a pair of jeans that I saw a girl having a dark denim wash and I want to look at this black and white dress because I think it would be perfect for Florence, the day trip we're gonna do while we're in book club. Um, so I wanna do that, I need to work out. Um, I probably will do that after, like before I go pick up Alexander in the afternoon. I don't know if you can tell, but we got our floors redone. I'll show them to you guys in a second. But because of that, it's making the space look extremely big. So I think I want to go to Home Goods. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do that today. Um, go to Home Goods to look at getting a couple of runners. Like when you first walk in, and then especially behind the kitchen, in between the kitchen island and the countertop, something. So I want to go there, and if I'm going there, then I need to get my nails redone. I kind of wanted to wait until next week, maybe like Tuesday, so they're nice and fresh for fashion week. But they're pretty good with lasting. I mean, it's only going to be a week, and I'm not going to get a design. I'm just going to get like a cute basic color. Speaking of fashion week, I need to pull all the looks that I'm thinking of. Um, one of my girls, Asha, who lives there, she was like, don't bring your jackets it's still hot shoot because i had plans so now i have to i'm just gonna pull all the looks out and and we'll do that thing but i think i'm gonna have a separate video on that so i don't know how much of that you're gonna see and then 
finally the white bookshelf that I have been running from and bought two other shelves that I hated both of them and both of them ended up going to the Goodwill that finally comes today they're scheduled to come between three and seven william's here so if i'm not here he'll be able to be here in his white glove service it's the best kind of delivery i love a white glove delivery they set it up in your house they put it together they take the trash with them they clean up around the area after it's just anyway so that's coming today and then <clears throat> what else minor stuff i need to nair yeah, I don't care anything about that. But I need to get my Nair stuff from um, Target. Because the one that I like to use, I am out. Um, I need to reach out to the chair rental company for the meet and greet to confirm that they are able to do chairs. And then bar stools. We're going to have, I told you guys before, we're going to have a Q&A. A couple of different people. Everybody that y'all ask, I'm going to bring them up. And y'all can ask them questions. So, William, the sisters, Kiosha, Girls from Book Club, were not all at the same time, of course, but they're going to be like different segments. So, I need to do that. Speaking of, I need to reach out to one of my girlfriends, ask her if she will be the MC for the day, like the running of the show, so I don't have to worry about doing it. Um, and then, was that it? Yes. Now that we're done with this project, I want to do another mini project, which is the guest bathroom. They took the vanity out when they were redoing the floors and I didn't realize how much of a crappy vanity they put in there. So I immediately wanted to get a vanity and put it in like today. And I said, well, Alicia, give it a second. Plan out what it's going to look like. Plan out the color scheme. Do you want to paint? Do you want to do wallpaper? So I'm going to canva that today. But I think that's going to be my next smaller project. And then another thing I didn't realize until these floors was that Whoever was doing the baseboards and even the trim on in this house before we got here, terrible job, terrible, terrible, terrible. So we all, all already have to get some painters to do the painting of our library on the outside. So while they're here, I'm going to get them to paint all of the trim. So I need to get, a, I have a contact information. I need to see if he's available before Wednesday, which would only leave tomorrow and Tuesday to get a quote. If not, I'm going to have to wait until after we get back from Fashion Week to work on that one and cook dinner. And that's my to-do list. So I'm going to, it's 714 now. I'm trying to finish uploading all of this footage from the Bahamas so I can then upload it to Google Drive so that I can then send it to my editor so she can start working on it. Oh, all in a day's work. But today is actually not as busy as I, it's busy, but it's not as busy as I thought. So maybe I do have time to go to Home Goods. I'm thinking maybe I'll go to Home Goods and get my nails done and then I'll just work out tonight downstairs. Or I could still go to the gym because we'll be here. So I can always go to the gym later. I've just never been to the gym. I've never been to this gym at night. Never. I think the, the latest I've ever been was taking like a 4.30 or 5.30 class. So I don't know how busy it gets at the gym. But I'm pretty sure it gets pretty busy. So I'd rather go before. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I will probably see you guys in the car. It, nothing I'm putting on is going to be cute. It's probably going to be a workout set so that I can easily take it off when I'm trying on these clothes at Target. Um, and I don't feel like putting on any makeup today. So I'll see you guys in the car after we drop off Alexander. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, I do not vlog with him in the car. Way too much of a distraction. And I know you're like, but Alicia, you're putting your life. It's different. It's different, it's different, it's different. So I'll see you guys probably just at Target. Let me just meet you guys at Target. All right, we've dropped off the kiddo. I need some sustenance. I just checked and the closest Target to me does not, this line is ridiculous. Can I just order? I think I'm just about to order on the app. I have them bring it to me because this is absolutely insane. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. This lighting is terrible. Okay, I'm sorry. 
anyway the closest target to me does not carry the collection I just checked um, pick up at the restaurant one second guys I just full menu breakfast chicken minis anyway so I have to go all the way to the one in Homewood but I completely forgot until I was headed over to the Homewood off 280 that Marshall's opened up today. Marshall's is open today. These nails, not getting done. I can't do both. I can't go to Marshall's and get my nails done and go to Home Goods. I don't even think I'm going to Home Goods. I here's the thing. I equate Marshalls to clothing and accessories. I really don't think they have a good home section, at least the ones that are in the Birmingham area. But this one just opened up. And I just forgot until William mentioned it that we need to get a new down comforter um, for our king size bed. So I really need to go to Home Goods. <sighs> they, and they're opened now. I just called them. So yeah, we're, we, are, we opened at 8 o'clock for our, our, I guess today is their first day opening to the public. They open at 8 o'clock. So we got to put our, we got to put a Marshall's run on, on there. I'm thinking, I don't know, I need to go home and maybe I need to, I should have time block today. But I'm thinking maybe I can still do my fill-in. I kind of want to get a fill-in and a pedicure at the same time because my toes are going to be out for fashion week. So many decisions. So I might get the nails and the pedicure either today or tomorrow. Because I was about to push my workout, but I really don't need to push my workout. I'm going to Marshall's. I say all that to say I, I have brought you here for four minutes and 47 seconds and counting to say all that to say Marshall's is open today and we're going. So I'm going to get my food. I'm going to chomp on it on the way since I'm probably going to be in traffic. I am headed towards downtown. So I'm going to be in traffic and I will see you guys once I get to the correct target. I wish you'd stay, but there you go. I have so much I want to say to you, much I want to say, but there's no time. We used it all Still have so much I wanna talk about But I messed it up and there you go oh, 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 oh. There you go walking out that door It felt so close oh, 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 close, oh, oh, Closer than it felt before And yeah, I know that I always hurt your feelings Yeah, I know that you'll never be forgiving me and I future collective anyway we'll see i'm more or more so have like jeans i have a dress they don't have a medium and the large looks too big but i only got a dress and then a pair of blue pants let me show you so i have this dress that i said would be great in florence but the large looks way too big and they have an extra small extra extra small at that <laughs> i think i'm a small and then over here i have these blue pants that's a medium but they look big so we're gonna try both of those also for reference this is my outfit h&m linen bomber gray tank that i got from here love these this is a small and then a pair of like oversized navy blue sweatpants so casual outfit all right let's get to trying on these clothes 
Okay, love these. Um, I'm not gonna get them only because I have some very similar to this and I'm really trying to switch out and do, like if it's not like a great deal, I'm only, I'm focusing on fall and winter items. So love them. The medium did fit just fine. So if you guys can see back there, it has a little elastic. So fit wonderful. But like I said, I'm really trying to prioritize fall and winter unless it's something I'm absolutely obsessed with. So these are gonna stay here. Okay, love these. Also, the denim is 20% off. I thought like looking on the hanger, they were supposed to be like the horseshoe and maybe they are and I'm just too short. Oh, maybe they are. See how it's kind of doing the thing. I like them. I also don't really have a lot of pair of gray pants. I picked up the 10 because I thought that these looked a little tight and they are a tad bit up here, but I know that as I wear them, they're gonna give. So it's one of those situations where I'm gonna wear them, they'll give, and then I'll just be dry cleaning them to avoid doing that again. But they fit perfectly. Don't have to worry about getting them altered. I love them. I wanna do it with, and I'm not gonna try this shirt on. I just wanted to bring it in and do like a little gray, or even what I have on like this gray. I could even do this jacket with it, but I have that gray jacket that I got from H&M. So I was thinking about doing like a monochrome, but I love these and I love it's doing a little bit of distress, but not too much. So we're definitely getting these. Okay, I picked these up because they're in the family of the denim that I'm looking for, but I thought I would like this, but there's something about it I don't like. Here or the buttons, it's, I don't know. There's this area I don't like, but love the way that they hit. But these are gonna be a no. And I really wanted them to work, but no, these aren't gonna work. <laughs> no, these aren't gonna work. This extra, no, this is a large. So clearly this isn't gonna work because you can tell the straps are too long because this is showing. And I want to say it's supposed to be like up here. So the large is going to be too big. And I know that extra, extra small is going to be too small. But we're still going to try it on. So clearly I knew this is going to be too small. Um, it's an extra, extra small. But it does lend the fact that I'm pretty sure that I'm going to need a small in this. I'm just trying to debate if it's like cute enough for me to order and where or do I just leave it here because I'm literally only getting it for Florence I'm not gonna get it so I'm just gonna get those pair of pants and that top let's go to the beauty section tell me what you have to go and drive me so crazy now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be without you. Oh, this smells so good. Vanilla pumpkin. Oh my gosh. Oh, it just is good. It doesn't have a This smells so good. No, but seriously, how much is this can? Soy filet. I even like the jar. But even after I'm done with it, that could be reused for something. I don't know what. I'm gonna hold on to it. I've got plants. Vinegar. Well, I use vinegar. That's a cute set. But I don't use vinegar. Okay, focus. It's supposed to be in the beauty section. Sorry. Come on, guys. All right, guys. Oof. We have left at a Target. Quick content creator tip for those that are into, are currently or aspiring content creators, and you're nervous about vlogging in public. Put on some headphones. Put on some headphones, either put on some music or put on a podcast, and you're so in your own zone, you could care less who's looking around you. That's what I do. 
I don't have my headphones up super loud, but I have them up loud enough to where I don't care if anybody's looking at me. Child, I'll put that, I'll put that camera up for those that are referencing now that I have the DG Osmo Pocket 3. That's what I'm using. Um, girl, have you a good time. Anyway, we have left. I'll give you guys a little quick shopping um haul when we get to the house i'm i'm like kiosha every time i leave out of this little raggedy house not raggedy lord i appreciate my house i love it it's just it's not literally speaking right um i spent a hundred dollars <laughs> but it's 9 48 and i'm tempted to i'm trying to see this is why i needed to take a picture of my to-do list I just checked my schedule for work. I don't have a meeting. My manager might want me to hop on a call at three. So I've got plenty of time. Um, sorry, reading an email. <laughs> Jesus, I look crazy. Um, okay, so anyway, like I said, I'm tempted to go ahead I'm trying to see what all I have to do tomorrow. My Tomorrow is my middle nephew's birthday. He will be 14. You could have went so many other places than behind my car. And we're going to Top Golf tomorrow. And he has requested from his quote unquote rich auntie and uncle. I don't know where they get that from. I mean, I Lord, if you want to give me all the riches, hand is open. Okay. Um, but he has requested a gaming laptop from us. And I said, buddy, um, you're a little young to be getting a gaming laptop to which he said, well, brother was 14 when y'all gave him his gaming laptop and I had to go back and he was correct. So looks like I'm buying a gaming laptop. I'm getting the exact same one I gave him. I gave his brother because I, I'm not gonna do. Oh well, mine's brother. No, we're getting the exact same one. So I need to do that tomorrow, and then we're going to Top Golf, and I think that's the only must-have for tomorrow. So I think we're gonna wait and do the fill-in and pedicure tomorrow. Actually, I'm definitely gonna wait because I'm gonna ask my mom if she wants to go, um, and take my mother with me. And then I'm already on that side anyway to pick up a pair the pants that I showed you guys. The I don't know, one of them vlogs, the black and white pants. I need to pick those up and I can do that while I'm down there tomorrow. And then the Best Buy is also down there. So we're gonna wait and do that tomorrow. Today, right now, since we've got time, since we've got the things, I'm about to go to Marshall's. And I'm fingers crossed, fingers crossed that they have a white down comforter because I told William that I would definitely pick that up today because it's definitely time to replace ours there's not there's only so much dry cleaning that one can do I want to say we normally replace it every year and we've had that one I want to say well over a year I want to say I got it in May of last year so it's time so fingers crossed come on Marshalls I know y'all don't have a lot of home stuff but please give me this because I do not want to have to either go all the way down 280 to the home goods to get it or pay an absorbent amount to get it from the TJ, no, from the Target that's next door. Oh, and you're falling. I'm going to see y'all at Marshalls. All right, we're here. I was waiting to see if the re posted a new episode today. I don't think they have yet. Normally they post a little after 11 o'clock my time. So maybe I'll just do a little music. Okay, so I mean, the number of apps that I have open is embarrassing. Mm, no, they do not have it. So I'm gonna grab my headphones. Donde esta? It's only 10% battery left on this little thing I thought that I had this is supposed to be an external battery is there not that much you know, there's not any charge on that no <laughs> no there's not so um 
I'm actually gonna put both headphones in. I'm probably gonna have to finish vlogging on my phone, but we'll see. We'll vlog until this dies, and then we will vlog on. our phone although I hate it because then I won't be able to listen to my music but that's that's what you that's why you should have hello Alicia charged it earlier okay oh my god let's go there she goes she's gorgeous it's hot out here I probably shouldn't wear this jacket I gotta go home and take this off this is my last stop but she's gorgeous and she's right next to Target Lord, please let me find some good things. I should, probably shouldn't be praying about that. It's very vain. Okay, let's go. You started a fire Somewhere deep in my mind See the barbed wire The place is thrown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be There's a stairway down for the both of us But let's not go there You got me thinking, whoa have quite a bit of home stuff in here. These are cute. I have nowhere to put them. But they actually have quite a few. They have a, um, uh oh, famous espresso machine in here. I'm in the kitchen section. I have no idea while I'm here. I don't even, I have nothing that I need. Although those all black strainers are cute. I just bought gold ones. At this point, I'm just looking for stuff to buy. I didn't see that big of a sunglass selection but I thought these were cute if you didn't have the space to put them in a drawer and this you can't tell but this turns and there's 27 in there that's actually super cute they have pre-printed labels I don't know how much it is though probably on the bottom but I thought that was cute and they have it in like black and then the natural then they have gold I'm going to show y'all the espresso maker right there a little espresso machine or nespresso machine it's the mini version but it's perfect for one person they also have a true espresso maker there's some good stuff in here they have a whole entire home section so i'm hoping i'll be able to find the white comforter in here i haven't even been to where the clothes are i've just been so focused on the accessories oh no books i don't need a single notebook oh my gosh whoa y'all do you see this tell me that's not sexy oh my gosh how much is this 29 the pot is 16 and then the other one 24 and then they even have bigger ones down here. Oh gosh. They have a bigger pot down here. That's gorgeous. Oh, I'm not in the market for it though. But that's so gorgeous. But I am going to look at these notebooks because when you think about me, I'm going to use a notebook. All right, so leaving out of Marshalls, I actually did pretty good. Um, I only got one clothing item. If you guys would have saw my TJ Maxx haul, um, and I'm still recording on my phone, sorry guys. But if you would have saw my TJ Maxx haul when I went ham in the last vlog, and y'all saw the gray cardigan type thing, they had that in, I'm trying to make this light. <laughs> um, they had that in olive green. Other than that, I didn't get anything, um, any other clothing. It's still very much heavy summer focused and I've heard me say it before we're not buying unless the deals are outrageous um, we're not buying for summer so I'll show you guys what I got 
all that they had a lot of furniture basically they didn't have a lot of bedding because they had a lot of furniture they had a lot of kitchen stuff but they did not have a lot of bedding they had one row of bedding for twins to king so clearly the selection isn't that much and so i'm headed to home goods part of me wants to be like let me just go ahead and get my nails done today but y'all gotta get back home I gotta get back home. I need to log on to work and then I need to finish uploading this footage for the Bahamas so that my editor editor can get started on it. Cause I like for her to send it back um, like to the Tuesday before the vlog goes up so that gives me time to watch it and then add description, description links. Um, and I have to do it this Tuesday because I'm leaving for fashion week on Wednesday. So I'd like it done by Monday. Hmm. But I'm gonna push it. Anyway, I'm gonna run into Home Goods, get this comforter. I'm gonna check and see if they have any more candle warmers because I'm in love. I'm obsessed. I love a candle warmer now. I love the vibe that it gives the house. Honestly, I really, really love the fact that I can set a timer because we're not the way that my house god be covering my house because the way that we have went to sleep with candles still lit the way have we that we have left the house with candles still lit god be covering my house i told you i'm me and jc were friends so i like that i can put it on a timer so it's four hours or six hours it's going to go off and then i don't have to worry about it i love that so i have two i have one in the kitchen and then i have one in the entryway that I just that I bought last I don't know y'all I bought them from this home goods and then I bought one online yesterday from Amazon for my room but now I kind of want to get one for the office upstairs and then one for the bathroom so I'm going to go in I'm going to get a comforter and two candle warmers max and I'm coming on out I'm coming out And I'm hot. It is 93 degrees outside. Why did I feel like putting on a jacket? 93. All right, guys. It is a lot of time later. I don't know where my tripod is. Shoot. It's a lot of time later and I'm about to do an unboxing with you guys, but I don't know where my tripod went and I don't feel like going to get it. So where is the tallest container that I can sit you guys up on so we can do a couple of unboxings? Is that too? Can you guys see me? Mm. I need a little bit more help. Give me a little bit more help. Well, while I'm doing all this, I could have went to get the dang on tripod. This is ridiculous. All right, I have taken a break from work, and we're gonna do. Let me do the haul of where I went, and then we'll focus on. Plethora of packages so graciously graced me today. All right, so home goods. I got the candle warmers. They only had one white down comforter, and it was not comfortable. So I just ordered one from Amazon. It'll be here tomorrow. But I got two of these. It's got like a little frosted dome situation thing going on. It's so cute, and it was. $19.99. We got two of those. Like I said, one is going to go in our bedroom and then the other one is going to go in our bathroom. Just cutting out all of this stuff. And I made sure that all, one, I made sure that they worked. That's one thing, because you can try them. They had like a extension cord where you can make sure that it worked. And then I uh, made sure that they all had timers because one of them didn't have a timer, which I thought was weird. Okay. 
those same um those pots that i saw in marshall's they had them as well at home goods and i was like god is this a sign god said no god said they're owned by the same store or the same company so they would have similar things this is not a sign i thought it was uh what else came from this We'll see how this works. I got this. This one is just a floating moon, a crystal orb light. Um, I just want to see how it works. It looks super cute. They had one in the store on, and it's it gave very moody vibes. I'm really trying to have more warm light in here. You guys know I love a good daylight light, okay? Content creators, we love our daylight light. But then you don't always have to be so bright. So I like at night, I can cut this on. Just something really cute. Where am I going to put this? I don't know. And then I got another coffee table book. I had been looking at this book for a minute. I saw it in Barnes and Noble. Um, and it is by Hilton Carter, Living Wild. So that's gonna go in the bedroom somewhere. I had one more home goods. It was a box. It was a boss because I am also one of my smaller projects is to get this dining table. I got this long thing that I thought I liked it. I don't like it, but I knew that I really love this textured vase. So I'm going to put, I'm going to start with that. I'm literally just going to put that on the table and then we'll work from there. I kind of wanted to incorporate some kind of a green element, but I don't know. All right, was that it from there? Yes. Let's do TG, not TJ Maxx, Target. Y'all are gonna have to move, okay? Now that we're done. And I have both of these candles going right now. Oh, it smells so good. I have lemon zest on one and then vanilla bean Noel on the other one. There's always gonna be some version of vanilla lit somewhere now. You guys saw the pants, so I didn't have to get in the pants. I tried the tan, and the tan definitely, I was able to see more of the barrel look, most definitely on the tan. But however, because AI, they were baggy, the va the waist definitely needed to be taken in. And I'm tired of going to alterations waist. I'm tired. I'm tired. So I went with that. Of course, I got the shirt in gray. I got that in a small. I picked up. That vanilla pumpkin candle i told y'all about it still smells good when do we decorate for fall y'all let me know i'm pretty sure by the time this comes out i haven't decorated yet um in my head i'm thinking about decorating the last week in sip no no Mar october the first i was going to say the last week in september but We'll just be getting back from Rome and then I'll have family in for the Alabama Georgia game. I'm not decorating. So October 1st, is that normal? Or do I need to try to decorate before then? This is pumpkin bourbon. It smells really good. I'm gonna get that to William. I would get all this trash after trash went out has already gone out now trash it did i tell you guys i got the floors done the floors are finished i'll show you in a second the floors are finished i think i told y'all um liquid iv we like to keep these in the house and the last time i checked we were down to our last three but so picked up the pack we have containers that's why i went ahead and took them out um, this is the Nair that I use. This is the Nair body cream with rich cocoa butter and vitamin E. Come on. Viewfinder. This. I don't know if that's showing up for glory or not, but I'll link it. Um, I'm in the mood for some body oil. So I normally go with L-U-X-E. I get it off of Amazon. I haven't had that in a while. And then I was doing TPH and then I ran out and I haven't been using anything. Um, so I went over to the beauty section and I saw Vaseline had a body oil. It has jojoba and coconut oil and vitamin E. So I picked that one up. 
and then i picked up this vitamin gel body gel oil i don't need it now but coming up in the winter months with my skin like my eczema from like mid-october to february the way that my body is itching with eczema is just and i don't want to get on medication i just want to keep my body moisturized anyway the aveno for eczema i mixed this in with that for the winter time so i just wanted to go ahead and have one on me just in case i saw the girls talk about this sunscreen i'll try it now but i really only got it for um a room trip and then you guys can't tell but my nose has been i mean poor poor central so i picked up these biore oil control push pore strips william normally keeps these on hand and i stole his last one so i had to replace it and then i picked up a lip pencil from ColourPop. it is in the color chain reaction of course it's another brown all right and now for mashos nothing fancy nothing it didn't wow me I wasn't excited. The clothing wasn't hitting what I'm used to. Marshall's clothing hitting the except it was, everything was just so so. And I don't. I'm assuming it's because they just opened. They just opened up. Give them a chance to restock their inventory, Alicia. Give them a chance. So I did pick up. This is a um, caddy for the bathroom. I like it because it uses adhesive instead of the suction. Suction don't work for us. We put too much on there. And I got these. This is up to 15 a pound. So Williams broke because once again can't do the suction so i picked this up for him there's two of them i already have one but i'll take another this is the green oh, i picked up some hooks for your friend um they're shower hooks i don't know if i have the video but instead of doing pant hangers i like to first of all i like to hang all his outfits i don't like to just hang tops and bottoms if there is something hanging up in the closet it's an entire outfit but because of that, sometimes I don't have enough pan hangers. I saw one lady who put this hook on there and then put the pants on the hook. It's super easy. She was also doing it when she was like prepping for vacation. So I remembered it when I was watching TikTok and I grabbed I grabbed the pack. Let me change the battery. Battery. All right, back in business. And then this is the green one that I was telling you guys about. So you saw the gray one. This is the green one. It's not a full one. It's a little half number. So it works as like a little cute cardigan. I definitely plan on wearing this with a pair of wide legs. I saw a girl do it on Instagram. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. All right, and then this seems like a lot, but it's not. They were giving out these little cute reusable bags. I picked up this adhesive shower basket. I picked this one up. It says it holds up to 40 pounds. So normally I will just have one body wash and then one body scrub in the shower. And then I'll like I'll switch them out every month. So now that I have this one, I want to put a couple now that I have this space. So I got that one. Like I said, 40 pounds. So nice and big. I got this for the vanity. You guys saw where I put I had those TJ Maxx, not TJ Maxx, those Target inserts. And I love those, but I need more like definition so i got that one to put in there and then i picked up this this is a tightening butt and leg cream so we'll see maybe i got it more so for these thighs because they is jiggling i really only got it because it's vanilla bean and it smelled divine do i feel do i think a topical cream is going to help with tightening my thighs no but will it make me feel like it's working yes and i just want to live in delulu for the rest of 2024 and then i got this candle guava and mango y'all so tell me why i'm going down the aisle i'm in that um a uh, section and there's a guy who's putting up candles and it's a black guy and i have my headphones in so i don't hear anybody i'm in my own world so he's asked me on my shoulder and he was like hey doing? I was like i'm good he was like how long have you been growing i was like huh he's like your locks are young how long have you been growing your hair i was like this isn't my hair and his look he was like oh my god it looks so real i said yeah that's purpose but i said i'm natural but i ain't locked up and then we got 
some hair silk from Mixed Chicks. This is just an oil I put on post wash and go. This are some Ardell Speedy Lashes. I got a pack of those um, on the TJ Maxx, but you can never have too many lashes. And then I got this for, I got this for myself and I didn't realize until I was in the middle of checkout and I didn't want to set it down. It's a masculine pack. They're car scented refreshers. I can't smell it right now, but I'm going to open them. And if there's not anything like familiar or the smells good, I'm just going to give all of them to William. I think they have bourbon vanilla. I might keep that one. Midnight musk. No. Teak, teak wood and mahogany. No. Whiskey and oak. No. So I'll probably just keep, oh God, the vanilla. And then speaking of body scrubs, I picked up my favorite one from Tree Hut, which is the coffee. This one also says a firming sugar scrub. So that's my grocery haul. Not, not grocery shopping haul. Let's get into some packages. I'm gonna hurry up because your friend will be home in less than an hour. It's still a little chilly. This one up, this one it says it's from Tower 28 Beauty. I've heard of them before. I can't say that I've ever used them. Used it. It's Tower, I think it says skincare. Oh, how cute. Driver's license, last all day. Sensitive skin. Oh, it's makeup. I don't know why I thought Tower 28 was skincare. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closer. I need to. Ho, ho, ho. So I can actually reach and show you. We have two, oh, in stores and online. Oh, it's been here. Um, Little two puffers right there. And then this is Blur Set Pressed Powder. This retails for $28 at sephora credo and revolve this is the translucent cute and then we have this is the palisades pink really cute i'm not touching any of this or am i going to swatch it because i have my share of pressed powders so this little cute and it has a little two puff puff pads little cute set Power 28. It's okay to be what? It's okay to be sensitive. Also, maybe it's for sensitive skin. This is gonna go downstairs. Giveaway box. So that is that. What else looks like PR? This it cosmetics. This also is PR. First class. In the sky cc cream plus spf 50 we have a eye mask which is super cute they give you this little cute bag and then we open it up and we have a what looks like a really nice brush and two cc creams one in rich and one in rich honey um, I don't know if I'm going to use these because once again, I have enough CC creams. Also, you guys heard me talk about Elf Superior. So I'm just going to sit this in the giveaway. Although it's very hard to give away those kind of products because they sent them in your shade. So maybe I'll just have to give it to a friend that I know that's their shade. All right, next up, um, NPR free people now mind you free people sent me a ton of stuff yesterday um my management had reached, reached out to them and they said at the time they weren't doing paid campaigns um but they would definitely love to send me some gifting if i want to send over a wish list so i send over a list don't say send over a wish list and i send over two three things no i send over like 10 things they sent i want to say eight yesterday um Yep, this is number nine. So the only thing that I haven't gotten is I sent them a pair of shoes. This feels so good. Oh, nice and oversized. Oh, that feels good. This is definitely one of those throw on and go type vibes. I got a compliment today with my outfit. 
she was like, you look so well put together. And I wanted to say, and hot. But I was like, thank you. That's cute. This is, I don't know what's, what it's coming across on the screen, but it's definitely, I thought this was dark gray, but it's looking like a navy blue. It's looking navy blue. It is navy and white. This is cute. Hey, all right. So that's, that's it for the stuff I didn't pay for. Oh, well, I have this rent the, rent the Runway. I told you guys that I was putting together a little bit of fashion week. I actually can't finish because I'm waiting on my new lead package, but I can go ahead and get started. Um, and then I might utilize the services of Rent the Runway and Newly for some items that I love. They're cute. I would love to wear, but probably not going to wear again or not in my price range. So I picked up... I want to say I did the five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I did the five. And after we leave, after we finish this, I'm going to immediately go upstairs and show you guys some of the ideas. Well, no. It's going to be in a separate video. Sorry. I'm going to some of the ideas that I'm doing for Fashion Week, but sorry. Next up, we have Zara. I had two Zara. No, I placed one. Zara order, but um, coming in two packages. And I don't think the other one's coming until tomorrow. No worries, I am gonna do a weekend vlog. It'll be the one after this one. Tired. We need to go upstairs and try this on. I need to go upstairs and try this on. We have this little cute vest with the gold detailing. Gosh, it looks so adorable. I need for that to fit. I ordered two of these pants. I ordered a size medium and a size large because I didn't know what size to get. This is probably going to be my travel outfit for Rome. It just looks so cute. It looks so chic. The top is not here yet. The top is coming on Saturday, but I wanted to try the pants on. So I need to hold on to this box because one of you guys are going to go back. And then I got these white cropped, not white, yeah, they're cropped, but these white, um, what do you call it? Fold up pants. I got them in a size 10, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll see y'all. You know, I just, I just told y'all last time. Sometimes I have to get a 12 in Zara, but these say baggy, right? Don't they say baggy? They're supposed to say baggy. These are supposed to be baggy. So we need to try these on. You you know it's a problem whenever you say try these on and then you like oh, with anxiety trying to try on clothes from Zara. And yet we still come back. We still love them. And then I saw I girl with these on on Instagram. And I was like, whoa. And they're low to the ground. They're leopard, but it's not too much. I think I just remember hearing um, Janae Naylor talk about now that leopard's in, but it's because it's it's so oversaturated. There's everybody's trying to do leopard now. Now I'm just like, all right, leopard, go on out, go away now, because people are doing too much. Oh yeah, those are just little cute. Like you don't want to do too much, but you want to do a little bit. Not a lot. That was cute. But I do need to try on the rest of this clothes. I got a lot. Alright. Candle warmer. Like I said, this one. Wait a second. Does this one stay in the living room? I think this is the one for... No. This one is the one for our room. Yes. And then those two that I got from Home Goods, One's for the bathroom. One's for my office. Got it. Let me show you guys what this one looks like. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Those people. Oh, was that them calling me about a delivery? Yes, I got you a candle. Huh? How 
are you, Candle? Um, here you are. This one is called Pumpkin Bourbon. And I got you these car scents. Let me stop lying. I actually got them for myself. Um, but I didn't know that they were masculine. So I'm going to keep the bourbon vanilla. That's masculine. Really? I know, but it's the least masculine of the bunch. You can have Midnight Musk, the Mahogany Teakwood, and Whiskey and Oak. Thank you. I'm going to clean all my mess up. You better before I get back. <laughs> I will. That's the goal. The goal is to clean up before he gets home. And then okay. we have a candle warmer for our room. Yeah, I didn't think that really worked. We ain't doing that. You don't smell it? You can't smell that one because it's on low. But that yeah. one, you can... I haven't smelled anything since you turned them off. What? I didn't, I didn't see what the purpose of it was versus burning them. The purpose of it is so that Mr. Geddes, when you either... No, but I'm... Versus burning them. The purpose of it, and the reason why I go in with the warmers, is so that when we leave and accidentally leave a, a candle lit, or when we go to bed and the candle's still burning, that these have a timer on it. Now granted, I have that one on low, so that just now started. But these have a timer, so in six hours, whether we're here or not, it goes off. Plus, I heard burning that releases toxins. Good. Uh, 15 years late because you've been burning candles for a long time. Absolutely. I don't believe you now. Leave now. Oh, Jesus. You got to pick them up, baby. I got a lot to do. Okay, I'm going to, it'll be gone. I got to hurry up, guys. I got a table lamp. I'm trying to set a mood. I think I told you guys before. I love white light, but then yellow light and like moody light. And I got this one because it is wireless, so I want to put it on one of the end tables in the living room. Just so that when the sun goes down, we don't have all this harsh light still beaming up at us. So I got this one, and then it's rechargeable. I want to charge it. Oh, gosh. Wireless microphone. I'm trying to do better as an Instagrammer, as a YouTuber. Apparently for my sit down videos, the sound isn't the best. Thank you guys for telling me. I, you know, it takes me a second to, re to receive constructive criticism. I didn't like it when you told me, but now I have received it. Wireless microphone. Mm. I don't know what these are. This, this light looked so much bigger online. Keep them. They are wireless, so maybe I maybe maybe the it's bigger than what it looks like. I gotta put that. What kind of battery? Two AAA batteries. We'll find out tonight because I'm lighting all these candles, so we'll see before this vlog ends. And then this is just Swiffer Duster refills because while I love the house and I love the new floors, I'm in love. I'm obsessed. For the most part, and I'll link them below for those that are interested, the, um, the guy who did it, exceptional, can't recommend him enough. Um, but his system, um, when they do it, it's very minimal sand, but the sand that's left here is sandy, bro. So we gotta dust all this off. So I'm gonna clean all this up really quickly, like in these be less than five minutes, and then we're gonna go upstairs to try on the Zara stuff. I'm gonna clean up the trash, go upstairs, try on the Zara stuff, and then come back down and clean up the stuff on the counter. Cause this is stuff on the floor, I gotta get out. Yes. You only call me on the weekends when you're out and about. Only chasing highs, you need me. He brings me flowers on a Tuesday. He gives me good love and something that I never thought existed. I know what I need. Sorry. 
cease and desist. That was sent. Let's do this Zara haul real quick. I'm pretty confident in this sweater. I'm not going to take my tank off because I do have intentions on wearing this in the winter time with a turtleneck underneath, like a little skinny turtleneck. And I don't really, this is literally how I envision wearing it. That's cute. I'm not trying to do a lot of buttons. This isn't, you know, what's the guy? Would you be my neighbor? Whatever his name is. What's the name? Mr. Rogers. So maybe like if I don't have on this tank, of course I'm not. So in the summertime, it'll be like this. I'll put on a little cute bralette. That way if you do, not if you do, when you see the bra, it's still cute. And then in the wintertime, it'll be like this. Or it could be, I don't think I'll ever wear it open. <laughs> I feel like that makes it a little bit more masculine. Um, but this is how I envision. These gold buttons, these gold buttons, I'm going to bring this down because I feel like it's bright cute okay so this is a yes this is gonna go downstairs what time is it 4 15. i've got 30 minutes all right the pants fit can i lower you guys here we go they look so good now i don't like the the but the four buttons i mean i like it because i feel like it looks like a better fit but when i'm trying to use a restroom i'm trying to do this this and just my look, I'm going to forget that it's a button. But it's cute. It hits at a length that I like. I don't have to worry about getting them altered. Perfect for the fall. There is... Ugh. How big is that? I'm going to have to get these tailored. That gap is, like, way too big. It wouldn't be an issue except for these are a tad bit looser. So I know that as I wear them, they're going to get even more loose. So what I'm going to have to do, and this is something that I realized um, with Zara jeans, I'm going to have to wear them one time, get them as loose as I want them, then take them to get tailored. Um, and then, is that thunder? And then I'll just dry clean them. I did the, I made the mistake of trying them on. Oh, they're too big. And then I went and got them tailored before I wore them. And then after I wore them, they got even looser. So that's just a tidbit if you're trying to get your denim adjusted. Wear them one time to get them comfortable. And then go take them and get tailored. And then just do dry cleaning. So we're going to, these are a yes. I wonder if I should just wear these tomorrow. That way I can drop them off Monday. Because I'm trying to debate if I want to. I kind of want to take these to Dallas for LTK Con, But I don't know. Because I just got a collaboration with Macy's. And they're going to dress me for LTK Con. Even though I'm not there the whole time. I hate the way that September is like. Alright, let me try on the pants. These are the medium. They definitely fit. But they're high watered. They're... Let me just let me just scoot up like that. Can you guys see this? I'll make sure to zoom in so you guys will see. They're high watered, which lets me know the large ones are going to be high watered as well. But it just feels so comfortable. This is like the reason why I got this set is because it feels so comfortable. But then it also looks very chic, so it's the perfect set to be able to wear on an airplane. Let me try on the large. I just know. Can y'all see me in frame? Can y'all see me in frame here? No. I just... The large is... Oh, maybe. Whoa. Think I'm going to get the steak. <laughs> I'm going to keep the large. They're a little bigger, but they actually touch the floor. Like they touch the ground, not my ankle. Why aren't the mediums like that? Is this... Oh, I thought that was a fold over. I was straight about to unfold it. So yeah, we're gonna have to do the larges just so that it can hit the floor. Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Take down your walls and let me ooh, ooh, ooh Yeah, break by break now Alright guys, 
we are wrapping huh okay um where's the remote we are wrapping up this thursday with dinner um we have salmon and scallops i've never cooked salmon i meant not salmon i've never cooked scallops before so let's do this together i need a starch probably some rice oh what I was gonna say, I have these cheesy scalloped grill sliced potatoes, but that's only 20 minutes. Wait, you still gotta boil water? Heat oven, water, stir, bake uncovered. Well, maybe I'll do this because while they're baking, I could be cooking the things. All right, there's only four scallops. Um, this is also, this was in the butcher box that we had. So I think William just took a couple out and unthawed them. I don't know much about scallops besides Gordon Ramsay kicking people out of the kitchen because they cook like rubber. But one thing I do know is that you don't cook them for a long time. So, what I'm going to do Here and then I want to say this is sockeye salmon. Let's open this. And they've been sitting out, so they're about room temp. Oh, let me set this to 450. So that can be preheating. And I'm just going to, I think, I'm just going to um season the scallops with salt and pepper. I don't remember there being a lot of seasoning on the scallops that I've had before. And I don't want to over season them. All right, and then I'm gonna do the salmon with the whiskey bourbon creek. We got this, one of our friends um, got it for us. I wanna say, I wanna say they're in some part of Mississippi. Anyway, so I'm gonna do that, and then I kinda of wanted to do, where is it? It's like a bourbon and brown sugar. I want to put some sriracha powder on there. Ugh. There it goes. I'm going to do a little bit of bourbon and brown sugar. Once again, this is just on, bring you guys down. This is just on the salmon. I still have this uncovered, I mean, not seasoned. I'm going to sprinkle it with a little of that. And then I'm going to go in just a little bit with some sriracha powder. I'm not seasoning the, the bottom because it's skin. And then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of olive oil and rub that in so the seasonings can get in there really nicely. pepper and then a little salt and I'm gonna let this sit like this while the oven is preheating it's probably gonna take about 15 minutes just long enough for the seasonings to do what they need to do Clean my mess. Okay, now let's do these potatoes. We need two and a half cups of boiling water, a third of milk, and two tablespoons of milk. That's a lot of milk. Y'all excuse me, I'm going to be using his milk because we don't have any regular ones. I'll buy some more tomorrow. Um in a oven stalls. Stir sauce mix boiling water. So we're gonna need to get this and then a casserole dish. Do this 
one. This says nine by, it doesn't say what it. We're gonna do this one. Tablespoons. I love doing the sticks over just the regular because then I could just say, oh, that's two tablespoons. Without having to guess or make that messy thing of having to put it in a, like a measuring spoon and then put it in here. It's just easy. Two tablespoons. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to put in the sauce. Oh my, I hope this works out right. I was supposed to put in the potatoes last. Eesh. Oh well, I'll try this works out. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. I don't think I've ever showed you guys this before, but this little spigot right here, that is boiling water. It's one of those things that she put in, which I'm forever grateful for. Three. Okay. Now let's come back over here. Let's stir. Okay, and then we're gonna stir it in here. All right, and then as soon as we're done preheating, that's gonna be 20 minutes. All I want is to be with somebody my pain away I hear music playing so loudly sing me now and then I wide away I'm wide away we don't need to explain ready salmon scallops i gave william three i only have two we'll see green beans and then potatoes i am going to scarf this down and then i thought i was going to show you guys the manier process i forgot what it involves when you get with near it involves birthday suits <laughs> so can't do that but maybe we'll finish this looks like a very long vlog did i show you guys the bookshelf we need to put the bookshelf together. I mean, it's together, but we need to put the things on the bookshelf. Let me eat first, and then we'll do that. I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long nights. I've been shining in the sunlight. I've been thinking how I'm alright. There's a reason for my feelings. There's a reason why I'm healing. Yeah, I feel higher than the ceiling. All because of you You and I were so sweet, so sweet Talk until we asleep, asleep Every night I fall deep, fall deep But love, yeah But you really get me, get me Make me fall to my knees, my knees Every night I fall deep, fall deep But love, yeah Wait a minute Okay, this is the best that I could do um, it's a work in progress, so we I also, why is that off? That's off. Is there something? That's weird. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Definitely going to be a work in progress, but for right now, I'm just happy to get 
all of this stuff cohesively. We'll probably switch out that picture frame as well as that one and maybe find two that are alike. And then I kind of want to get some more white and black books to put there. I love that. Um, so yeah, but I'm, I'm too tired. I've been up since 5.45. So this is what it looks like. I'm hoping what I said could make you change your mind. I forgot to 